Hello everybody. Peter, many congratulations. You are the Betfred World Match Play Champion. A stunning performance, a stunning week. Just sum up how you're feeling right now. Obviously it felt, you know, amazing. Uh, obviously to, you know, just have this trophy in my, in my presence and it's just like, wow, when we've all the, all the names that uh, won it in the past and, you know, um, obviously, you know, to play Dimitri in the final, he, he, you know, he he put up, uh, he played brilliant throughout the whole tournament, but he didn't quite, you know, turn up for the final. Not not turn up, but he, he missed a lot of crucial doubles and uh, and let me in. When you raced into that eight-two lead against a man in your form, that's almost unassailable. Do you think maybe he showed you a little bit too much respect in those early stages? No, the, the early stages, you know, he missed, he missed doubles, and it, it, it shouldn't have been eight-two to me. But uh, you know, I, I just done, went out and done my job, and just hit the doubles. What was there, what was left, and yeah, I was, I was trying to find bits of bursts of, you know, the games I was playing yesterday, and which I have done in the tournament as well. You know, bursts of nice, nice eleven. 11 darts, 10 darts, whatever, and just I was trying to. But the first start wasn't really going in for me tonight, and it was. Uh, I don't know why it's that, you know, but it's a W. That's the important thing. <laughs> You're very critical of your performances, even when you hit these big averages, but across the week, tournament average of 10491, is that arguably the best you've played consistently over these longer formats? Uh, yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. You keep saying you should be averaging 110 all the time. Where does this rank in terms of your tournament wins on TV? Obviously, you know it's the second from the World Championships, and uh, that's, uh, you know, uh, oh, you know, I only brought two sets of darts, like I did in the Europeans, and I won that, and and, it, and you know, it worked again. So. I've just got to make sure I don't take 20 odd or 40 odd sets of darts with me to a, a, my next TV tournament. <laughs> you told us at the Premier League that you know you need to stop tinkering. You said that yourself. Is, yeah. this the, is the penny drop now? Is that it? Are you happy with them? Well, I was I was happy with the, the silver ones, but as soon as uh, I asked them to do these gold ones, and, uh, and it, you know whose fault it was? Josh Payne. <laughs> <laughs> he, he come round. He, he come round and practice uh, with us. Before, not last one, uh, the floor tournament before, and he said they, they, they look nice and gold. So I contacted Bro Drink, he's in gold, whatever. And I actually got out, I got some gold paint in the garage. I actually got a set and sprayed them and just threw them for a little while just to see what they look like in a board. And I went, mm, yeah, they might be alright actually. But they just fly totally different, you know. I've said it in other interviews. They fly totally different from the silver ones, and I don't know why. And I just feel more comfortable with them. And you know, I could do lots and lots of things with these. And you know, I've only just touched the surface of playing darts with these. World champion, match play champion, Gezi Price now in your sights for world number one. Would that tee off an absolute fantastic career if you could be world number one in the rankings as well? That'd be great, but obviously I've got to try and defend the worlds. So, you know what? You know, when I go and win the worlds, five hundred thousand, I ain't going to move anywhere. That, that's the thing, you know. Uh, so, uh, but we've got a few other tournaments. Uh, obviously, now qualify for the Grand Slam, which I'm happy about. <laughs> uh, so that's that's a bit more ranking money, and if I win the Grand Prix and the and then and the Grand Slam and pick up the uh, few Europeans and retain my title in Euro European, you know, I, I could be number one in the world before uh, approaching the World Championships. Uh, I think I could be. Right now, do you think there's anyone better than you on Planet Darts? <sighs> right now, I, right at this moment in time? Uh, 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 no, there's all loads of good players out there, fantastic players, and uh, but today they weren't here. And yes, I am at the moment. Peter, many congratulations as always. Cheers, Bob. Thank you. Peter, would you say that this is your best tournament win in terms of how well you've performed from start to finish all week? Yeah, you know, uh, I did it uh, dip below 100, uh, had the 99 average, uh, and and then I just played 
okie dokie for the most of it, apart from obviously against my ball. What was it like sharing that moment with your wife, Joe, at the end? Obviously, you've been through a lot recently. Yeah, you know, obviously as a family and I think, you know, not just Joe, a, a sister and uh, everyone else and other stuff, personal stuff as well. It's been very difficult the past couple of years, so, you know, that was, you know, just to have it here on the finals night as well as, uh, you know, because it was the quarter final, she said she wanted to come, I said, you can't, you've got to rest, you've got to rest. She said, well, promise me you'll get to the final. And, and I've done that job and then and she made sure I won tonight. It seems like with the return of crowds, Snake Bikes being rejuvenated again, you know, the real Snake Bikes back. The, the crowd were amazing, fantastic. I weren't, I weren't expecting, you know, the crowd to be, you know, mostly on my side. I, I expected after, you know, watching Dimmy's game and, that, and how they were, I thought everyone would be on Dimmy's side. You know, the young man and uh, the guy trying to retain his title would have been, you know, I thought I would have got a lot of a lot of booze and everything, but no, hats off to every single one of them. Thank you very much, you know, for supporting me. A couple of weeks ago, you said you were going to win this, you were going to win the World Championship. You know, a few players were a bit taken aback by that, but you backed it up emphatically. Hey, <laughs> I might have a big mouth and I backed it up. There you go, and uh, I'm only going to get better, so. Practice lads. Thanks, Peter. Thank you. Peter, I'm not sure if you saw in the presentation, but when, when you were speaking to Michael Bridge, um, Dimmy was clapping along and singing along with the crowd. Yeah, um, yeah. It shows the amount of respect he's got for you and how, even though he's disappointed, he's, he's happy that you're all back to win it. Yeah, I, you know, he, he knows the hard work and everything, and, you know, the tough time in our family and everything. And, you know, when he come round, he can see what he can do in darts, what, you know, what we've accomplished uh, and for him, you know, what he's done so far, so quickly, you know, he's only going to get better and, and, and I appreciate, the, you know, the support from him like that, you know, he, that's because he's a gentleman and, you know, and we respected both each other up there, you know, there was no in your face stuff and all that lot, trying tactics and I think we just went up battling each other and that, that was it. And that's what I'm sure people want to watch instead of, you know, face full of competitions. I'd say that winning breeds confidence, the calendar is always busy in the second half of the year. Oh um, my god. Like you're in a, in a good place. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing every weekend now. I'm, I'm, it's, you know, and Michael will be as well. Uh, and, uh, he'll be, you know, he'll be coming back to form. You know, I'm, I'm going to say one thing anyway. I'm going to retract my words that I said that uh, early on in the year. I don't think Michael will win a TV tournament, but I think he could do because he's he's going to come he's going to come back strong and. If someone knocks me out in a tournament, he, he, he might not have to play me in a final and he'll win it. <laughs> so, but he, you know, he's coming back strong. Cheers for the time, Hey, congratulations.